Hey guys, it's Marty Geek. In this video, I'm going to be customizing my Nintendo Switch for the first time with the new latest red Joy-Cons that came out when Super Mario Gal Odyssey came out. Uh, keep in mind, in the United States, it actually came in a bundle included with these Joy-Cons. But here in the United States, they, they're not available. I had to get these from uh, PlayAsia.com. I'm going to leave the links in my descriptions just in case you want to buy it from there. You can buy it from there. I'm also going to leave a link from Amazon but I think they're gonna be a little bit more expensive if you buy from Amazon now let's go and take these out so you have an idea how they look of course the writing is all gonna be in Chinese or Japanese you know but everything else is basically very very similar to uh, new joy cons that you purchase here in the United States um, you got this right here which is the shoulder covers for the joy cons I thought they were actually going to be red, but no, they're just your typical black ones. And here, of course, are the awesome red ones. There you go. It's going to take both out. There you go. Take both out right there. And there you go. I press the button right over there on the, on the side. There you go. This is how they actually look. There is a red version available for in the United States, but those are neon red. These are a little bit more darker red. In my opinion, they look a lot better for me, for my taste. So it looks pretty damn awesome. So let's go ahead and take this out so you have an idea how they look right here. There you go. And there you go look at that oh my that looks pretty damn awesome here in the back another thing that i'm going to be doing here on the video is replacing the rear cover for this because i actually wanted white and red in the back uh, and like you see here the black part of it it's already getting like i don't know like uh different tones of black there because of your greasy hands <laughs> oh my but look at that. That looks pretty damn awesome. Hell yes. Uh, one thing to keep in mind that a lot of people might not be doing is that when you replace new um, Joy-Cons, um, it's recommended to go here to it says controller. And uh, right here says update controller. Click right there. And there you go. All connected controllers are already updated. Um, there was an update available already. I did already try these on before I made the video because I received them yesterday. And there was an update available there. And it actually updated both of them. So make sure you actually do that. Now, of course, um, for those asking, um, it's going to actually feel the same. There's no difference whatsoever here when you get, you know, when you get these joy cons from asia so don't worry about that all the accessories that you get for the nintendo switch are going to be compatible no matter where you get them from now what i want to do of course is replace the rear cover which i want to do here in the video i don't want the video to become too long and these are the cover that i'm going to be choosing there you go i'm gonna, also going to leave a link in my description for these I'm going to put this to the side. There's nothing there. I'm going to also leave a link in my description for these. You can actually get these from Amazon. And these are available in different colors. Uh, you could get like aqua blue. This is the white. You could get a red one. I didn't get a red one because I'm pretty sure the red one was not going to be the same tone of red. Then it's going to look a little bit weird if you have like two tones of reds. So I decided to get the white because I love white devices. So there it goes. I'm going to put that there. Another thing you can actually do is um, customize your Joy-Cons to white if you want. I'll leave a link in my description for these as well. But honestly, I'm not going to do that because I don't have that patience to do this. But yes, you can actually do this as well. Of course, there's a whole bunch of videos out there on how to replace the cover. So I'm going to be doing this and fast pacing the video. Uh, but keep in mind, you're going to need a special um, screwdriver for the rear. Same thing with the uh, Joy-Cons as well, which is the Y shape or tri-wing uh, tip here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it right there in the video, but you actually need uh, to get one of these special ones uh, for other screws like this one and this one and this one. And on the bottom, you actually could use a regular, uh, very tiny, I think it's 000 Philip drive or screwdriver and that's it. So let's go ahead and do this now.
Okay, so finally we finished here. We got the SD card there done. And there you have it. So this is how it actually looks. Not bad. Awesome. Very excited to have this customized. There you go. Fits like that. And the other one. There you go. Look at that. Awesome. Oh, yeah, baby. Put the game back in. Turn this on. Uh, the reason I turned off the console is, of course, because I needed to take off the S uh, micro SD card uh, to unscrew a little screw there available. So that's why you want to turn it off, you know, properly uh, take out the card. And basically, that's it. The game, of course, you're going to keep on using the same cover that it comes with the game card right there. And basically, that's it. There's no white cover there. But I think it still looks okay. I think it still looks pretty nice. Of course, uh, the design in the back is different, you know, instead of saying Nintendo Switch, it says just Switch. I thought it actually said like Power Switch. I think I've seen like some of them that says Power Switch. This one only says Switch and it has the design there a little bit different, uh, way different than the original one. But other than that, it must, it should work perfectly good. Now let's go ahead and try out how it looks here, the red one, so you have, can have an idea because some people do use... Uh, their Nintendo Switch as a console, right? And most likely you guys use this right here, the grips. So this is how it actually looks, which looks awesome. It looks incredible. In my opinion, the combination of, of black and red looks really, really damn awesome. When you go here to control, it actually recognizes, like see there, it actually recognizes that you have red joy cons on i didn't know that i don't know how the hell it does that but it does recognize that the joy cons are actually red kind of cool right i didn't know that and other than that guys like i see there the installation was perfectly uh very easy to do uh this cover i think you could get it for around 18 or 19 dollars i'm gonna leave a link in my description for everything that you see here including these that i didn't use but maybe in the future i might i might customize my joy cons with these but i'll leave a link in my description for those and for the back cover and for the play asia link for the red joy con i ordered them using the standard uh, mail and I actually got them in around nine days, which is not bad. But the fast mail actually you get them like in two or three days, uh, but it's a little bit more expensive. So I decided to go with the cheaper standard shipping, was which was like I think five or six dollars, and it, I only got them like nine days later. So guys, thanks for watching the video. This was me customizing my Nintendo Switch for the first time with the red Joy-Cons from Mario, from the release of Super Mario Odyssey and the rear white cover for the Nintendo Switch. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this combination of colors and let me know what colors would you love to have on your Nintendo Switch. Thanks for watching guys, till next time.